Hey guys, Mike here, and um, welcome to part two of the painting section on my Furioso Library and Dreadnought build. Um, as you can see where we left off last time, it's all been undercoated in two shades of red. So you get this nice uh, highlights and shadows sort of built into the base coat. So to protect this um, paint job and to help in the next step when we apply a wash to the red, uh, we're going to use Valero Model Color Gloss Varnish. Um, you can paint it on. I'm just going to put it straight into my airbrush. It's, it's thin enough that that'll work. Um, and just spray it on. Uh, for this, I'm going to lower the pressure a bit of the airbrush. Normally, I shoot at about 27 psi. Knock this down to about somewhere between 15 and 20. Um, just so I can get a bit closer. Because if you spray it from too far away, it, it you know the gloss effect isn't it wouldn't be the same as if you'd just brushed it on but because it's such a, a big model I just want to you know get it on there as quickly as possible so I'm just loading up the uh, colour cup with a often bit of a big amount of this uh, varnish it goes quick when I'm spraying it and um, yeah I'm just going to varnish this up now so welcome back guys I've just finished um, setting everything up to begin the next part of this tutorial uh, I've left the dreadnought to dry overnight after I gloss coated it um, you know, just to make sure it's definitely fully fully cured and everything. And um, so now that we have the gloss coat on, we can start to apply the wash. And because of the gloss coat, it means that the wash is going to more easily flow into the recesses and into the um, you know the the edges and the gaps of things, uh, which is what we want. Also, it means that if we do get washed somewhere where we don't want, or if it pulls somewhere and we don't catch it, and um, we can easily clean it up with a bit of um, a bit of alcohol or a bit of a paint thinner or something like that on a cotton bud or I use um, small little makeup sponges. Um, yeah, so you can just clean it up and then you can varnish on top of. And our third thing as well about uh, a gloss coat, it means when we apply the um, decal or decal, I don't know, I never knew how to pronounce that, um, to the, uh, the right leg. There's a Blood Angels chapter symbol to go there. Um, it's the only, only decal on the whole model as far as I, I'm aware. Um, when that goes there, it, the gloss coat really helps to when putting those down. So yeah, let's crack on with this. Um, the wash I'm going to be using isn't um, a GW one. Um, I was I could use Bad Ad Black. Um, that would work. I'd probably thin it as well a bit. But um, in fact, what I'm going to use is this um, homemade concoction. Um, the recipe is actually not mine. It's uh, from it's by Les from Awesome Paint Job, and um, this is his soft body black wash recipe. And um, I already had all the you know the um, the ingredients <laughs> to make the wash, so um, I just you know just used his um, recipe mixed up. So if you want to know how to do this yourself, just check out his um, videos. He's got a video on his wash recipes, and also recently he's just they're on sale. As well, um, so you can always just buy them if um, you don't want to make them yourself or if you don't have the uh, required stuff. But this this wash is really, really good because it's already it's really thin and it's because of the flow improvement side it, it will just you know suck in itself into the recesses. So I'm just going to apply this with my uh, regular paintbrush. Um, being trying to be careful, you know, I'm not just sloshing it on. I'm going to be putting it round, you know, where there's little gaps and stuff. And that way, you know, it minimizes cleanup and it keeps the nice uh, bright red. You know, we're not just going to be applying the wash all over the top here and, you know, having it stain. And then, because we'll just be, you know, it's more cleanup work at the end. So, um, I'll just get a, a bit on the end of my brush. Oh, a bit too much. Um, so, I've just got it by the side of me here. Here we go. So, um, hopefully, this should. Uh, it should come out quite well. If I um, start applying it around the edge of this blood angel symbol, you, should, you might be able to see it. Well, you can definitely see the shine off of it. It's a bit shiny because it's wet. Yeah, so the idea is just put this wash on, especially around these little 
happy with things. Just being careful, you know, to only really apply it where it needs to be, so you know, not pretty needless work after the door, pretty needless pulls of the stuff. Um, I don't think that's a good look. I've seen some um, miniatures that you know they just slap on whatever wash all over the miniature, and you know with no concern over where it goes. Just get it over the whole thing, and then just you know carry on with the paint job. It's like, well, you're gonna you know paint over those massive areas where it's pulled. Nope. So I don't like that. Right. Take me time. So there we go. You might just you might be able to see it's that sort of shading around the um, the scrolls and the work. But basically, I'm just going to go around the whole model, arms and all. I'll do some on this side. Just, just not sure. See, so yeah, it just likes to it wants to go into those recesses. There you go. So I've done it around the scrolls. So when that dries, you'll get this nice. Nice shading around the school, and then later on when we come to paint the school, you know, we can just slap on the next colour, and if we go a bit over, it's fine because we can just apply the wash again. So yeah, so this is the plan. I'll um, carry on doing this, and uh, fast forward the next part of the video. See you in a bit. Okay guys, I've just finished painting the wash into all the um, recesses and um, there isn't actually that much many places to do because um, obviously like places like here and the centre, they're, they're going to be different colours so um, they'll get their own washes in time um, but hopefully you can see that like, it's like around the feet um, And around those the details here um, and around those bolts there's kind of like all well, the rivets you know there's, there's a shadow around them and obviously um this doesn't clean up to do you know excess wash where I didn't want it or try and to even up where the bolts are so I'll move on to the um, the next stage so the next step is to use, I want it to dry, you know, we've got to make sure this is dry. Um, use a cotton bud, or a kitchen roll, or what I like to use, one of these little makeup sponge applicator thingies. And then um, what I'm going to do is dip this in uh, paint thinner. So this is Tamiya's thinner for their paints. Um, this works quite well. I, I mean, I'm going to just soak the end in this so that's clearly soaked in, in liquid. But I'm going to basically then dab this on the paper towel to get rid of most of that because if you just put that on your model right now, it will just strip the paint from it completely. So now I've gotten rid of the majority of that and hopefully areas like up here. I've sort of gone a bit over. You know, just gently wipe it away. Um, because this the wash is literally only just gone on. Um, it really hasn't dried a lot, but basically the gloss coat will protect the underlying paint for a while. I mean, if you keep rubbing at the same area over and over and over again, especially those rivets. If you rub on top of them, you'll 
most likely remove the gloss coat and then start to move the underlying paint which is what you don't want so just you know if you, if, you, if something's been stubborn try it go over it for a bit and then leave it let it dry again and then dry again so you're not you know keep moving around go to different areas don't keep rubbing at the same place over and over because it will just take off your paint and then that's a that's a bigger problem and you don't, you, know, you don't have to do a step. If you if you're really careful in the last step, if you were following along and you're doing this on your own miniatures, you know you wouldn't really have to do this. Um, you can also just you know if you're careful, scrape the wash off. Use use like the end of a cocktail stick, so you know not your knife, and you can you can just scrub at it and usually almost scratch the um, excess wash off. But this works quite well as well, especially if you get large pools and you don't want. Um, there's like a pool at the bottom of that foot that sort of creeps up that actually looks kind of cool too. And down there it's probably going to get weathered later on anyway so it's not that big a deal if there's a bit of excess wash. Uh, likewise if there's excess wash on places you're only just going to paint over in a bit anyway so you, know, you don't have to bother cleaning them up. But yeah so I'm just going to go across the mould and just clean up what's left. See you in a bit. So there you have it, I've just finished cleaning up all the um, excess wash where I don't want it. Um, so yeah, that's the, you know, it's a small one, just if you want to use washes but you want more control over where they go and um, more control over any mistakes that might happen, um, gloss coat your model first, you know, you don't need an airbrush to do it, you could hand paint gloss coat on, in fact it, it's actually better if you hand paint it on it. I found that when you hand paint gloss uh, varnishes on, the, you know, they can come out glossier than with an airbrush because um, sometimes when you're using the airbrush the gloss is drying in the air and it's sort of just smacking against the model and it's not doing its job properly I mean then in all fairness actually the gloss varnish I'm using is meant to be brushed on probably so um, but I use the airbrush anyway it saves time but yeah if you just gloss coat your model to protect all the hard work you've done up to that point and then you know use a wash and um, you can use the GW washes or Valera's washes or you know or some paint jobs washes whatever and um, so long as they're thin enough that they'll you know you have control over where you want them to go and they'll run into the recesses and then once they once they're dry you know use a bit of um, you know like this uh, acrylic paint thinner or you can use rubbing alcohol and um, isopropyl alcohol you can use that as well, you know, in small amounts and don't keep rubbing the same area because you will just wear through that gloss coat. The whole point of the gloss coat is to protect your paintwork, um, you know, but only for a limited amount of time. But that would be, you know, if you're more careful when applying your wash, you'll be able to, you know, there'll be less cleanup. And then once you're done, you can then, you know, move on to other things like whilst the gloss coat's on, apply um, decals where you need them, um, which is what the uh, next video will be about. And then, um, you know, carry on painting. And um, what I like to do is I'll apply decals now. I'll um, then I'll do all the flat colours and you know the base colours and start painting up all the areas on the um, the dreadnought except the metallics. Once all the you know non-metallic areas have been have been painted and done um, or base coated, I'll then use a satin varnish to knock back the gloss a bit and protect that work. And then I'll do the metallics and start doing like edge highlights and touch ups and all the details and stuff after that. So, you know, and then depending on, you know, how hard wearing I or how hard wearing the miniature needs to be, I might um, you know, do another satin coat on top. Then that's just how I like to do it. If it, if I put a satin coat on before I do metallics and things, if I screw up with the metallics because they're, they're such an you know, opaque paint silvers you know, if, I, if I'm painting silver and I then I get a bit of silver somewhere else, you know, because of the varnish, it's easy to remove that bit of silver. I wouldn't have to paint on it. I could just use the same technique here and probably just rub it off or scratch it off and that damage the paint job underneath. So that's what I like to do. So the next next video will be about applying the um, decals or decals. I don't know. You tell me how it's pronounced. Uh, comments and advice is always appreciated. Please subscribe if you like these kind of videos and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.